Welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending December 4th, 2022. Let's get into it. A bunch of news since we were not on last week. Starting off with just the weird news of the week. Um, Kizuna Ai, the VTuber, has a new anime coming out, and it's an anime. Um, it's an actual anime. <laughs> I, I assumed it would be a like VTuber thing, like a hollow live, like a virtual thing. But no, like it's a straight 2D anime. Um, nice. That's Kizuna on the on the left, and her the other version of her on the right. That's kind of the anime version of her on the right because she's not anime enough, apparently. I don't know. Um, Interesting. Okay. Yeah, there's a whole promo video for it, and it just looks like you know, cute girls running around doing cute things, pretty much. That's that's it. I wonder why they took that route versus doing just it's she's already yeah. a CGI 3D character. You could just yeah, right. put her in a C CGI <laughs> environment versus 2D draw. Okay, fine, cool. cool. Yeah, because no, 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 no complaints. Sorry, no complaints. Yeah, no complaints. No complaints. It looks cute. This is a story about the bonds between girls, according to the title. Oh, um, so yeah, it's um, it's a thing, it's apparently yeah. a thing. Um, I wonder if more forward. VTubers are going to get uh, mm. get animes as well. Yeah, maybe. Um, uh, moving on, um, there is a crowdfunding uh, 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 crowdfunding for a new drop drop on my devil OVA, and it funded in thirty five minutes. So <laughs> well done! <laughs> Damn! Congrats! <laughs> Congrats! Um, in fairness, the their their goal. So that that's just kind of their first goal. The goal is to get enough money to crowdfund an entire season. That's just for episode one, right? Um, so let me see where they are right now. Um, currently, they are at fifty-two million yen for their uh, their thing, wow. which is pretty darn good. So good yeah. on them. <clears throat> um, definitely chugging uh, uh, along. The initial goal was for 30 million yen for that first episode. Uh, so they are moving along with that. Uh, the fourth season will be called Drop Click on My Devil Next. Which was a cute series. I, I still have not yeah. finished it, but I've seen at least mm -hmm. season one. Yeah. It's cute. Um, <laughs> I just, I love this this idea. Like, mm -hmm. we, you know, it's become more of a thing as we've gone through all this stuff. And it's just yeah. like, as time has passed, there's more successes in getting these crowdfunding things. It's like, yeah, yeah cool. It's really good to see. Um, so basically, every extra 30 million yen will get another episode. And, we'll get nice. episode. and I, I really like this idea of saying, hey, let's put it out there. If we get four episodes, great. That's fine. And we get a four episode OVA, whatever. If we get six episodes, great. If we go all the way through, we get a whole new TV series. That's a great idea. Yeah. So here's hoping. Um, a couple other weird anime news uh, that I just had to mention. There's an upcoming anime I did not realize about pole dancing. Yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> <laughs> not uh, like Barbara from Genshin a little bit. Very much so, yeah. Yeah. Wow. But look at those characters. Oh my god. Okay. I mean, like we needed, like we needed an excuse for Rule Thirty Four, but okay. I mean, it, I mean, full disclosure. I love the outfits. I think they yeah. are yeah. fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the story centers in, according to Anan, on Hinano, a very normal and mild mannered 17 year old girl. Aren't they? Um, her grandmother runs a planetarium, which is uh, being closed down. And then one day she walks in and sees a woman dancing on a pole under a starry sky. And so they set up a stage in the planetarium to perform shows. So it's all very wholesome, uplifting pole dance. <laughs> Is pole dancing oh, different in different countries? Uh, no. I mean, granted, in fairness, in recent years, pole dancing has become a legit, like, exercise. Exercise thing. Exactly. Right. Certainly. I, certainly. And I'm sure that's kind of the intent here. But <laughs> it is also teenage girls pole dancing. Like, let's just... Yes. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's yeah. the part that it's I just when I, when I saw that this week as like one of the little bits that came up from from A and N, I was like, "Excuse me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? We have a different concept oh, of pole dancing here, don't we?" Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, scriptwriter worked on Wake Up Girls and Show by Rock, so wow, good okay. pedigree there. Um, the, the director uh, was also an episode director on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. 
So I'm just looking forward to the stands showing up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, who knows? There's a CG director. I'm assuming it's going to be all CG. Um, those yeah. those look like they could be just CG characters, like right there. Yeah. Um, I don't know, but we'll we'll see. Um, and uh, Kauri of Studio Transform is the pole dancing supervisor on <laughs> Pole Princess. Pole, oh, pole consultant. <laughs> Oh, my God. oh goodness! So I'm 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 hoping it is literally just cute, lovely pole dancing. You know, it's, it's just it's just you know, seriously. Like I'm hoping it's just a, just a <laughs> yeah. Show. I would feel slightly relieved if it was exactly like exercise. Yeah, that yeah. she's like, oh, you know, it Acrobatics. would be great to do this exercising thing in the old planetarium. It just is really motivational. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Versus where where it could go, and I just where, where it could go. Uh, yeah. yeah. Let's, mm. um, I also just had to mention because I thought thought it was so funny. Um, the next Detective Conan movie, the trailer goes really hard. Like it's it, this really intense thirty second trailer that is basically like an R rated thriller. And oh. I know Detective Conan oh. like try like likes to be kind of faux intense and have like all of the action things, but like. <laughs> It, it's 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 pushing it like it, it really feels like like the the little girl like gets kidnapped and the the, the, the trailer ends with her going Tuskete! at the very end like in a whisper like it's kind of creepy so I don't know think of Conan it just they're 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 kind of pushing it over there um, they're trying to draw in the audience more people have gotten too accustomed to how Conan exactly. is you know, just... well the director also worked on Mob Psycho 100 and Death Parade that might explain it just saying. Oh. What? <laughs> oh, 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 all right, okay. Oh, oh dear. So I, I guess when they tap that guy on the shoulder for the Detective Conan movie, they're expecting something very specific. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We want it to be really, really disturbing. Oh, yeah. Cool. We can do that. <laughs> that's <Sorry>. good. <laughs> Move on to some anime announcements because oh. that's oh. always fun. Um, Yoshitaka Amano has a thing. Oh, um, called Zod. Oh. Wow. Um, Yoshaka Amano, famous for doing the Vampire Hunter D kind of designs and all right. stuff like that. Um, and this is sort of an art book he put together or sort of an art art wow. gallery type thing that he did. And this is getting an anime series. How? I'm not quite sure. I, wow. I mean, that's just stunning, actually. Yeah. That's, wow. Um, it is set near the end of the Edo era. Zan is a samurai. Here's a voice of a strange girl guiding him to another world beyond space and time, beginning a cross-dimensional battle against an assortment of enemies. And she's a pole dancer and a planetarium. <laughs> and <laughs> done. And <Yeah. laughs> Oh boy, oh, God. Ya yeah, boy, Con Ming, but like pole, he's he's yes. coming to help the pole dancer in her in her career. I would be so there for that. <laughs> that would be, I, yeah, I'd laugh my ass <laughs> off. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> also, possibly controversial, um, it's part of a larger project for Zahn, uh, including a game using a P2E blockchain and an NFT art. So, I don't know if, I mean, a lot of folks that's just like you no know straight up, but okay. curious to see where that goes. Um, so, who knows? Uh, more details will be uh, revealed at AX in July of this coming up year with a tie-in planned event at AX. So, I mean, I'd love to own some of this artwork. But yeah, uh, absolutely. Um, more as like a print than a blockchain <coughs> thing. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if folks watching are like, haven't I heard of this before? Yes, you have. I have. Um, Yoshaka Amano announced in 2010 he was directing a movie of this. And... Um, 12 Maybe. years ago. <laughs> Established his production studio. Started work on it. Uh, planned to debut in 2012. And he's been developing it ever since. Hi. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, fingers crossed this will come to fruition more. Yeah. Um, although with how uh, uh, crypto is doing right now, maybe that's not the... Um, maybe, that, maybe that doesn't help. Who knows? Um, we wanted some more anime, anime announcements because I love anime announcements. Uh, Aaron the Southpaw is getting an anime. Um, manga, sort of a workplace comedy. 
uh, about a uh, guy working at an ad agency and a very skilled artist who is left-handed, who is the girl we're seeing in the cover. Um, so it sounds like a kind of a typical workplace comedy, you know, opposite to track kind of thing. Hmm. Yeah, it sounds fun. Um, now is this the left hand, right hand kind of thing? So it's mm -hmm. it's unusual that she's left handed and talented. Mm -hmm. kind yeah, of, that's yeah. what's being said here. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, or at you. least it's unusual being left handed and unusual being talented. I don't know. Because much like gingers, lefties are evil. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Um, uh, I also really enjoyed this one. Acro Trip um, is getting an anime. This is a magical girl comedy. Basically, the main character is an otaku for the local magical girl. Like, there is a tween girl that runs around her town fighting evil. And she's a big fan of, of this magical girl. But no one cares because the magical girl's villain is so adept that its plans never work out. So everyone's like, oh, yeah, the magical girl. Like, she'll, obviously, she's going to win. Like, whatever. Um, so it's just become kind of an everyday occurrence that this magical girl is, you know, whacking things and, and winning every every day. <laughs> um, and so the, uh, 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 and then of course, you know, the otaku girl stumbles across the real girl, you know, in her actual life, whatever. So, you know, wacky distances. But, and we have that coming. It sounds fun. I was say, it sounds cute. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll see how it actually adapts. Um, Nightwatch Cat, a.k.a. Yomawaraki Yomo Neko, getting a TV anime. Um, a, um, the main character is a cat who is drawn to the scent of tears and then goes to comfort whoever is, is crying. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And then steals her soul. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, the, the style of the cover is obviously very sort of kid's picture book. Yeah, um, I wonder what style they'll take with the anime. Just if it's going to be normally so, I don't yeah. know. It just makes me feel uncomfortable for, for <laughs> any reasons. They're going to go complete odd taxi. Ooh, yeah. there we go. Um, interesting. Also, this is an eight-panel manga. Oh, instead of a four-panel, so, uh, uh, nine volumes out so far. So well, curious. Um, moving on to some more normal anime news, uh, Makoto Shinkai's latest film came out, doing pretty well. Um, so uh, it is now three weeks into its run. It has made uh, a total of forty-five point five million U.S. dollars so far. Oh, very good. Um, it made six million dollars in its third weekend alone. Nice. Um, more importantly, that is forty-seven percent more than Your Name. And fourteen percent more than weathering with you. So wow! Wow! Each movie is working its way up, which is awesome. Which is um, obviously got to be people now know who Shinkai is. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they're like, oh, you know, sort of like early Ghibli. I'm sure yeah. once it yeah. got known, <laughs> like, oh, take off. <laughs> yep. Exactly. So good to see um, yeah. a positive reviews so far. Um, that yeah, said, that come on. Yeah, I know. I can't wait. Um, the latest um, Reincarnated as a Slime film came out yeah. this, this past weekend. <laughs> and um, that made $3.19 million in its first weekend. So no problem there. No. Um, and uh, for this worth, this is an original story by the original author about like a neighboring kingdom to go to. So that's pretty cool. Uh, One Piece film Red. Opened on August 6th and is still in theaters. Damn. Okay. It is 17th weekend and has made $133.8 million so far. Wow. How's that uh, <laughs> compare to the little train that could? Um, oh, it's not there. It's, it's, okay. it's, it's a ways away. Um, speaking of, though, mm. let, let's get to that. Um, Jujutsu Kaisen, zero is now okay. the number six most successful anime film of all time. Really? Of all time. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Um, they, they announced, they kind of tallied all the numbers. It has made $191 million worldwide. Um, putting it below, and we'll, we'll quiz folks here. Demon Slayer's at the top. It's at number six. What's between? Bleach. Nope. Oh, no. Wow. 
These are not surprising anime films to be up there. Top anime films of all time. Spirit oh, of all time. Away. Spirit Away. Spirit Away. Uh, uh, Princess Mononoke. Okay. Okay. Um, nope, actually. No. Oh. Ponyo. No, I don't think Ponyo. Uh, yes, Ponyo. Really? Yep. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Well, Disney at that point, yeah. House um, Moving Castle. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh. Mm-hmm. What's the other one? Kiki's Delivery Service. No, nope. Not Miyazaki. Not Miyazaki. But also kind of obvious. Perfect blue. No. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Angel Zag. Um <laughs> Carcaptor Sakura the movie. Oh, really? No, no, no. I was no, gonna no, say no. really kidding. I'm kidding. Damn. It's like, oh wow. Um, we were talking about this director earlier. Oh, um, um, um Weathering with you. Almost. No, um, it's 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 um, it's uh your name. Your name. Yep, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So Silent you, voice. No. It, yeah. No. Oh, and God. for what it's worth, uh, it is Demon Slayer number one, then Spirit Away, Howls, Ponyo, your name. Jujutsu Kaisen. Damn. <laughs> so well we, we done. should we should relish this moment because at yeah. some point, and we're we're gonna see it in our time. Mm-hmm. Saying the number six anime film of all time won't mm. really mean anything because there'll be so many anime films available that'll yeah. be like, oh, you know, there's just there's 30 of them in the theater right now in, yeah. in the <laughs> global market. That's just you know that does that those things don't mean anything as much. It's anymore. crazy. It's like, oh, I wait for that day where I can yeah. go to my <laughs> local theater and have like four anime films to choose from. Be like, oh. um, and to that point, this is the fourth highest earning Japanese film in the U.S. Not anime film, Japanese film, period. Like, it is nuts. Don't sleep on Jujutsu Kaisen, apparently. Yeah. I would have thought live action, some of the live actions would have had, you know, some yeah. running in that, but yeah, damn, okay. Yeah. And, and, and it, Evangelion? Yeah. Right? It yeah. surpassed Evangelion? Jeez. Um, moving on to something that is, I almost put in weird news, but it's not weird. It's just kind of interesting. Um... <laughs> So, um, oh, wait, it's not actually a Disney Plus thing. Um, oh. So, get this. Love this. Um, Netflix recently launched this sort of um, free with ads right, service. Okay. Um, so, it's an ad-supported subscription tier. NHK then reached out to them to say, um, this is not what you told us it was. When you breathe this on us, like, really really quickly, like a couple of months ago, this is not what you said it was. NHK has a clause, because we're a public broadcaster, that we oh, cannot be seen in advertising. Yeah. Oh. So please take the 22 titles we have on Netflix down until we resolve this. Ooh. So here's what Netflix, so Netflix said, okay, we're going to remove all of our advertisements for NHK and keep all of your titles streaming. Oh. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, That's so not going to be a good business court. relationship here. Is it? No. No. Um, yeah. So Netflix said, "We told them that they they agreed," and NHK is like, "No, this is not what you told us it was. We this was not clearly expressed." Um, and so uh, Netflix stated it is continuing discussions with NHK to see where it goes. Um, so yeah, that's a that's a thing. It is currently going on between those wow. two folks. Um, wow. That includes um, at least uh, Bakuman, Twelve Kingdoms. I know yeah. are both NHK products. Um, don't know what else, but it's weird, man. Yeah, I would think Netflix would be a little a little more aware of how things work and how building relationships yeah. works. Yeah. And that this is gonna oh dude, you sour that taste, you're gonna have a hard time getting a hold of titles. Like Yeah. 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 Th- th- that obviously <clears throat> I have no idea, but it just it smells of oh really? No, we're not gonna do that. Yeah. Whether it is or not, that's just kind of the the reaction it kind of tends to 
we're Netflix. We don't have to do that. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was definitely a you need us more than we need you. Yeah. Because yeah. Mm-hmm. they've got other who are who else are they do they deal with? They deal with um who Netflix? Yeah. I mean oh, they're, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah. 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 Direct studio contacts mm-hmm. other other broadcasting organizations I mean, like, hell, you know, they, they've got their hands pay for their own yeah they can pay for their own and, yeah. yeah 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 so who knows i don't know it just feels like it's automation just feels... crunchy roll yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but i mean it, you know it's just one of those things where it's just like did you have to do that mm. i mean i don't i don't see who loses on this yeah. it, do, you, do you know what i mean it, and i think mm. you guys are right that this is very much a more of a attitude thing yeah and then there's a money thing yeah well it's weird if it's only 22 titles it feels like okay we take them down and right we continue talking about it right like, we hammer it out gonna yeah. die based on that right <coughs> i don't know it's weird is this the hill that you want to die on <laughs> right yeah yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no all right and maybe they're also making a statement for other you know maybe it's like we're not going to be bullied by some you know, bullied by a yeah. thing we're going to be i don't know uh, um, moving on to um, slightly happier things, um, although still a little unfortunate, uh, Comic Con has announced they're going to cap 120,000 per day in August, um, which still sounds massive. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? Um, but to um, give you guys a a um, um, the, uh, uh, an idea, Comic Con 97, which is the last Comic Con before the pandemic. Got across four days, seven hundred and fifty thousand people. Mm. <laughs> mm. Um, each day drew between one hundred eighty and one hundred ninety thousand attendees, and that was kind of the the thing, you know. Um, one day attendance record for Comic Con is, is two hundred ten thousand, so that's kind of where the numbers were generally right. pre COVID, and so it sounds like they're like, no, we're gonna we're gonna stay kind of low, even even in this point. Um, I th- I think that's always wise. It makes me yeah. want to go and see if there's any like crowd video of what two hundred and ten thousand oh, yeah, looks, looks like at like, one place, like in a building. Crazy. And that's um, when you turn around to look at certain conventions that won't be named and go, "Why? Why?" Yeah, because <laughs> they have the capacity. Like you know, if, right, you, can, yeah. if you can push them in, why not? <laughs> um, uh, during I the last even... comic they had uh, eighty-five thousand a day for what it's worth. So it's a this yeah. is a bump up. But still, I gotta imagine um, capping it too is probably like for the poor custodial staff who are just like, there is literally a tidal wave of, of human fluids that we oh, cannot cope yeah. with. Well, that's the thing. Comic Con has always been well run. Yeah. Yeah. So um it, it's not even it's not even that. It's just the fact that they're like they're saying we can handle it, we're just not going to. You know, we're, we're going to keep things small and you know manageable in that sense yeah, in relatively sense that we, controlled you, you know that we don't have to but like there's never been a problem with people pushing or shoving or or you know giant crowds going whatever it's just there we got to get them through yeah. yeah well it just it makes me think of the of other cons where by like day two you go in the paper towel dispensers are out it's all it, just it, like it, wreckage it. everywhere yeah. it's like wow this yeah. is just day two and you see a twitching <laughs> yeah. foot underneath the right. stall you know? yeah, yeah. It's yeah like, i can't even it's apparently not the experience in Comic Cat. Thank goodness, man, because yeah. just we pumped that many people through. You know, that, I would think that, that just that's so, destruction. Yeah, Comic Cat just suddenly made my bucket list. Mm. I, I, I'd, like, mm-hmm. I'd like to one day. So like San say, Diego Comic Con. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I want to go one of these days. Me too. Not that Me I would. Too. Not that I know what I would do there. I mean, I can't read really the things. <laughs> buy a lot of things and they just take them home and stare at them. Oh, yeah, they're, they're so great. I can't actually, if I went to Comic Cat, I would find all the folks who are doing um, non franchise Da Vinci, you know, the folks who are doing like their own oh, yeah, 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 and characters. Yeah. Like, I want that stuff the stuff that, like, 10 years later, when it's like the hottest property, it is <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen, yeah, and you're like, <laughs> I've got an art assigned original. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I mean, not even that, just like all the weird stuff out there. I like, oh, weird. and I'm sure there's a lot of weirder there's stuff. A lot, that a we lot know of weird. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if I wonder how they distinguish that. Like, is there a thing in there of 
this is 18. I mean, obviously there'll be 18 plus stickers. Yeah. Right. But you know, I, I wonder how easy it is to tell you know, when you're at a booth. I don't know. If you don't speak the language, I imagine it's probably a tough as crap. No. I mean, well, some of the covers you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> in fairness, but but if, yeah. or, a little, or, or, if they've or got one, a little paper sleeve over that part, you know, if you can't, I don't know. Could you? Can you take those off and look? I mean, you can, you can look while you're there, certainly. Yeah. Well, you know, it's just when the guy sees the guy Jin and they go and reach behind underneath the table and be like, "This is for you." That's mm. when you know. <laughs> ah. Ah. Uh, um, oh, oh my God. Ah. Uh, no, that's the one they don't sell to the guy, Jin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People start clearing the tables off, looking at you like, oh, okay. No one must ever know. Um, all right, let's move on to license check. License check. There are oh. licenses out there. Things are being licensed. Disney is licensing all the things. <sighs> yes. Um, so Disney Plus is getting a ton of stuff, including a new adaptation of Osamu Tezuka's Phoenix. What? Oh. By Studio 4C. Uh -huh. Yeah. Studio 4C announced they're doing Phoenix Eden 17. Wow. Which is like an adaptation of, and this doesn't look very, you know. Right. But it's, it's Phoenix. That's that's definitely Phoenix. Damn. Um, they're doing that. It'll be exclusive worldwide streaming, except for mainland China. <laughs> yeah. In 2023. Um, adapting, obviously, part of the massive Phoenix manga. Right. Right. Um, in fact, I think that is literally like the name of one of the volumes, one of the, the storylines. Um, that is happening. They're also licensing um, a thing called um, Murai in Love, um, which is about a high school boy who has his love for a teacher. Mm. Uh, um, she refuses, in fairness, um, but um, then comes uh, then. Um, he comes back to try to kind of win her heart. Um, I don't know. Um, we've, weird. we've seen some of these. Scum's yes. Wish. Yeah. Wasn't it? That's, that's the thing. Like Disney Plus, really? For that? Yeah. It seems kind of odd. Um, also, Sin Duality, a Bandai Namco mecha show. Huh. Because why not? Um, and I'm, seriously, it is Rei Ayanami in a mecha fighting like aliens. Like that is exactly what it is. You know, slightly longer hair, Ray. It's really weird. Um, <sighs> in just being kind of the thing. Um, there'll also be a, a game, PS5, Xbox, PC, right. um, all that fun stuff. Um, uh, the main character is is Noir, an AI who's lost her memories. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so we've got that. Um, they're also getting the new Tokyo Revengers. Uh, huh. The Christmas Showdown. Tokyo oh, Avengers. Oh boy. Because why not? <laughs> oh dear. Um, exclusively on Disney Plus in Asia starting in January. Um, so yeah. I just wonder how how far are they gonna stick to like trying to nibble into the anime market? Because mm -hmm. with their own shows, their own domestically produced or yeah. domestically aired, who I don't know where the hell they're produced, but yeah. They have a bad habit of like running out three, four, five seasons and then just cutting stuff off. Mm. And it's like, are you guys? Do you, are, you know if you're going to get into the anime market, at least mm. you know give Netflix a, a you know kind of a run for its money on this. Mm. Don't come into it kind of halfway and then mm. buy a few and sort of like interrupt people's other you know mm. streaming streaming opportunities if they don't have Disney Plus. Mm. I get it; it forces them to buy it, but yeah. you know what I mean. It's just like. Mm. Granted, or three or four not. seasons of most anime would be magnificent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's weird. Um, well, I just don't see them. I mean, you know, when they when they brought in, started bringing in Ghibli stuff, that made sense. Yeah. And, you know, there's obviously things out there that are going to be, you know, friendly to what their vision is. Yeah. Sure. You know, you know, we're not going to see <laughs> Shinjuku City stuff going on here, but, you Did know. Did they both have Ghibli? Not those HBO. No, 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 no. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm mixed okay, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but still, the, what they're aiming yeah. for is is sure. is family, family friendly. Yeah. Um, Skate the infinity. I don't they, see them. I don't right. See them yeah. They've got this but, stuff. Why not? 
Well, I mean, you know, there's there there is that. I mean, I can see them doing the sports anime. I can see them yeah. doing, you know, things like that. Yeah. But if you see if, them doing Blue Lock, I no. can, I can. I know futsal. What that yeah. that one that totally I could see being in their wheelhouse, being like, mm-hmm. oh, you know, it's good, friendly, you know, yeah. sport. Well, and, uh, again, Disney's not all friendly, right? Disney's also Tron. True. True, but the you percentage know? is lower. Much, much sure, more. but yeah. I mean, but but I think that's also kind of what the, what they're doing. The other th- thing to point, and I'm actually pulling it up now because I literally don't know, um, like what is on Disney Plus. So I'm pulling up the TV guides, um, 32 best shows on Disney Plus right now, um, do 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 do, and I'm skimming all of the kind of original stuff, um, Dancing with the Stars, um, Werewolf by Night, Comedy yeah. Horror. So that one was the first is their first really gory, like really gory one. And that's MCU. They have the and Orville. Then, what's that? They have the Orville. The Orville. The, really? the Star Trek yeah. spin off. Yep, they have that. Um s- still skimming. Still skimming. All the Marvel stuff, obviously. Alias. Yep. Interesting. Um, okay. let's see here. Marvel, 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 Marvel. 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 Star Wars. Um, Star Wars. Um, they have Doug. Huh. Weird. Which Doug did used to show on uh, Disney. Mm-hmm. That, was, that, 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 that was Nick, wasn't it? They acquired it from Nick. Oh, gotcha. So they it, have, showed up, it showed up on Disney's one Saturday morning for a little while. They have X-Men, the animated series. The Damn. 90s one. Damn. I guess they have Gargoyles. Which yes. also we added, you know. Mm-hmm. So I guess like they had the Simpsons too, which I forgot. Um, yes, because of the Fox acquisition, right? And so, and, and to your point, like these are obviously niche, right? It's not kind of the core High School Musical kind of a stuff, right? The Disney's famous for Hannah Montana, right? The but I guess there's there's now like just enough of those things on their channel that they're like. Maybe there's enough interest in those. They're like, okay, we'll we'll start investing in that side of of the content. Um, it'll be interesting. The minute they have Ishizoku reviewers, then we'll know that they're really committed to the thing. <laughs> Peter Grill on they Disney Plus. Plus. <laughs> wow, that took an unexpected turn. <laughs> Dude, you, you you got ahead of me in like one second. Yeah. It's Disney 18 plus. Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, there we what? go. I like it. I like it. <laughs> New channel. It's the premium version, like the HBO <laughs> yes. premium package. It's, it's, it'll actually be called Disney 34. So, you know. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. I mean, well, we're not going to go there. Um, <laughs> not talking uh, about Quint Jewel's also announcing stuff. So, it's not just that. Oops, I got the wrong. Okay. We'll just, we'll just pop that off for a second. Um, so yeah, Crunchyroll has announced seven anime streaming in 2023, which is good. Um, Handyman Saito in Another World, um, Isekai, uh, Handyman Isekais, and discovers that it's really useful to be able to like repair armor and like, you know, unlock treasure chests. Um, so he becomes like everybody's friend apparently in the new world. Uh, he's an HVAC right? technician in a hot and steamy land. Wow, cool. <laughs> Um, they've also got uh, the legendary hero is dead, which you may have seen. It's the yeah. image of the, the, the folks carrying the coffin. Yeah. Through. Um, they're getting campfire cooking in another world with my absurd skill. The guy who has the Amazon connection. Okay. Yeah. Um, Malevolent spirits Monogatari, um, which okay. uh, spirit hunting, yokai hunting, kind of a thing. Um, bring the return the spirits to their world with divine powers. Yep. Um, the Sacrificial Princess and the King of Beasts, basically a virgin girl is sent to the Demon King every year. You know, he eats her. Um, and then one shows up and she uh, he is charmed by her, right? Because she doesn't fear death or whatever. And no, so he becomes, he becomes his consort, right? Okay. Um, it's that kind of a thing. Uh, Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel, Northern War. I actually am kind of intrigued by this one. Um, it looks like it's sort of a war movie. But like in a fantasy world, okay. Oh, right. So um, main character is um, um, she enlists in the Northern Jaegers 
to do uh, to protect her hometown, distinguish herself from her grandfather Vlad. Um, uh, she's ordered to assemble a platoon with for an impossible spy mission. Looks very kind of fantasy military. So okay. I'm intrigued by that one. And then Masamune Kun's Revenge R. So the next Masamune Kun thing. Yeah. 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 Yay. So so I'm sure it, it exists somewhere, but I'm not aware of it. Maybe you guys would, would be aware of this niche mm. isekai. <clears throat> There's a lot of isekai of, of going into the past or into another world where there is either it's relatively the same mm. time period or it's fantasy, medieval yeah. kind of a thing. Is Has there been, is there um, an isekai? I, there's got to there's mm. be some. Um, where they go into the future, mm -hmm. or not fantasy world, but they go into the future, and they're you know they're you know instead of bringing their advanced skills to a bygone era, they're yeah. going into a place where their skills are not necessarily in tune with the time. <clears throat> I'm not aware of any isekai, but there are certainly a few you know frozen for 200 years, right? Yeah. Kinds of stories. Yeah. Um, Kurgan communication. Was one of the uh, ones that comes to mind. Um, although she was, you know, frozen before the apocalypse and then unfrozen. Um, but yeah, I can't offhand hand think of like a sci fi. Um, no, no. Yeah, I'm trying to think of one where it's like a yeah. guy isekai and he's like the idiot in the in the future, but it's mm. like. Right. Yeah, like like yeah. Tracoon gets some, like, and a real isekai, like Tracoon gets the guy yeah, yeah. And, and, he, and he reincarnates somewhere in the future. Yeah. yeah. Instead of yeah. massive skills and like all kinds of things, no, he's in the future mm -hmm. and he's just got our skills from today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When a thousand years worth of skills have happened, <laughs> like I can't think of one off yeah. the top of my head. You could do some fun things with that concept too, if there are like yeah. lost skills, if like no one knows how to concentrate. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, Who I can't think of anyone that comes to mind like that. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Um, maybe Cop they copyright could... this right now. <laughs> exactly. <yeah. laughs> maybe they could have reincarnated into the world of Dallas because that's getting a Blu-ray. Damn. Um, Look at... Okay. A little confused, but all right. Yeah. It's it's sure. Why not? Yeah. I was trying to find where the head was on it. So <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, you know, those who watch Dallas remember the robot dogs. So this is clearly that, right? Because that's right. very. Uh, yeah. It's a it's a it's a album cover, really. Yeah, um, pretty much. I feel like Journey or something. Yeah, very much. Yeah. <laughs> um, to be clear, this is a Blu-ray in Japan, um, so not like a, a U.S. release. Oh, okay. Mm, okay. Um, uh, this is for the 40th anniversary for the Emotion label uh, under Bandai Namco. So you know the whole Emotion logo mm -hmm. around for 40 years now. Um, uh, it will include a pilot film, a documentary, and a commemorative pamphlet. Because mm, of course, why not? Uh, so uh, we will see how how that turns out. There was a um, DVD release by Discotech back in 2014 in the U.S. So that is a thing. Uh, the ANN description of Dallas is slightly odd, but one way of describing Dallas. Um, they they mentioned that it is known for its production values, experimentation, and affordability compared to contemporary television, anime, and anime film home video releases. I don't know about any of that. Yeah. <laughs> All I know is this, yeah. like, what is it? It's the first OVA, right? Yeah. Oh, in, in fairness, okay, I, I, I read that wrong. The OVA format that Dallas launched was known for its. Oh, uh, okay. Not uh, Dallas. Fair enough. Fair enough. Because um, Dallas is a thing. Um, I don't know how experimental it was. Right. <laughs> but that's okay. Also this week, things we want to mention, um, potentially in passing, uh, the new Trigun anime is confirmed to be coming January seventh. Oh, I saw nice. the new the newer trailer for that. Yeah. And it looks so good. Oh, it, it looks so good, and I love that they're in the wolf lips. Yep. Mm -hmm. Everyone's asking where Millie is. I am yep. sure she's coming. Just wait. Somewhere in there. Maybe, yep. They're waiting for the reveal halfway through. I'm sure. Um. What's impressive about the trailer too is like there's stuff there for everyone. Yes. You know what Trigun is, you'll know some stuff. If if you watch the original series, you'll be like, oh, this is it. wait, what? Mm, yeah. Hmm. So good on them. Um very much looking forward to that. 
Uh, the Eurocamp smartphone game has delayed to spring, um, mainly because it was it was announced to come out in fall 2022. Yeah. <laughs> so that's not happening. Yeah. Um, so we'll see where that goes. Um, and then finally, um, uh, a few folks have left us uh, mm -hmm. that we want to mention. So um, Kiyoyuki Yanada passed away, Japanese voice actor, obviously, uh, who worked on... Uh, Ronin Warriors, Transformers Armada, Digimon Adventure, Oh My Goddess, um, Dexter Tonian, Death Note, Hajime no Ippo, a whole bunch of stuff, Gunner Math 91, a uh, variety of stuff there. Um, also, uh, Grant James passed away. He was Zeph in One Piece and Scar's Master in FMA, Brotherhood, among many others. Uh, and then one that hit me really hard, uh, William Frederick Knight passed away. Yeah. Um, Aramaki in yeah. Rose Michelle. Yeah. Um, so if, if you know dubs, you know that voice, nice. um, yeah. that very gravelly kind of old guy voice. Um, he was Donzo in Naruto Shippuden, Gordon in The Big O, um, Kuzami in Eureka 7, um, even Al Hazard, Kagame's grandfather in Yasuhime, a um, whole bunch of this stuff. Yeah. So uh, I passed away. He great, was a great actor. actor. Yeah. So long life there for... Uh, for William Frederick Knight, but uh, we, we bid farewell and a tip of the hat to those for passing on. That's all the news of the week. Thanks for watching. See you next week.